and Kate. And you're watching Mad. What I'm doing is uh, essentially shoring up the the instruments from the back of band, sort of providing those uh, those extra sounds and technicalities that you wouldn't get from just instruments. Sort of adding that extra flair to the orchestra, you know? A few years back, I had actually worked with One Star D before at an event uh, in Brampton, where I'm from. They had mentioned that they wanted a beatboxer for a while for this specific type of uh, type of orchestra, and they just happened to have me on deck. That vibe of going up on stage and seeing people um, react positively to, to what you're doing, whether they get it or they don't get it, or they like it or they don't, having people you know celebrate the fact that you want to get up on a stage in front of others. I think about that pretty much right up until the second I performed to this day. I've had a lot of good interactions um, and good opportunities with the city of Brampton um, over the last few years. I will admit over the last, I wanna say five, maybe 10 years, uh, the city of Brampton specifically is, has put a lot of effort into fostering local talent. I really enjoy all the time that I've spent with the city and hopefully now that I'm getting back into it, I wanna take those opportunities once again. I think I would I would give that message to any um, any young beatboxers watching this or any of them that approach me is just keep at it. It's one of the only instruments that you don't have to, to, to carry around with you. Take it anywhere, you can get those 10,000 hours in as fast as you want. Once I discovered what beatboxing was, first thing I thought about was um, let me go through my old song, uh, my music playlist, like, see if I can imitate some of these drummers and trying to replicate that. And then realizing later on that there's a, like, uh, you can add melodies to it, you know, finding out different technical sounds, just kind of grew from there. Whenever I'm, I'm, I'm brainstorming ideas, or I'm, I'm thinking about new concepts, new routines, new bits, I tend to create them in. Uh, 30 second or 60 second or 90 second bits, you can make a decision on which one of those bits you want to put together. Some of them might flow into each other. Some might be very melodic. Some might be song covers. You take the bits that you like, you put them together. Take the ones that you might not need right now. You might find something to complement them. I think the Canadian landscape for beatboxing is probably the best that it's ever been right now as a as an art form i've noticed um, a shift away from uh, you know basic beatboxing as an accent to to spoken word or to poetry or to rap and it's it's really become its own its own genre a current situation has definitely given me some time to think about uh, how i approach music if i want to put out music again how am i going to approach it what are live shows going to look like in the, in the immediate future? As far as making music itself, I think even with mainstream artists, you see this very, very rapid, uh, unexpected, somewhat unprepared shift towards online. You can pretty much, you can pretty much read thoughts anywhere you want, whenever you want. Um, and having uh, the connected social media that we do right now, I think it's easier now more than ever, especially with everyone staying at home, spending a lot of time on social media. It's easier now more than ever to just throw as much content out there as you can.
was interesting watching the performance uh, pretty much as an audience member uh, because most of the shows I do are really in front of in front of live crowds like I'm very used to the live crowd experience uh the only the only side effect is I usually don't get to see everything put together after the fact really interesting to see the high quality production the whole show looked fantastic this whole situation that we've all been put in has really pushed creative boundaries and the fact that we can still pull something off on a virtual stage at this scale with this level of production still make it look really nice i think it's a good skill it's a good precedent and a good skill to have i really enjoy reading fan comments uh partially because i feel like what i do is something that not a lot of people see every day but for me especially at this performance specifically i was most excited for people to see the the collaboration this festival is good for me because i really really wanted to get back into performing and uh, this was a really good opportunity i've been looking for opportunities to work with local artists i've had a really good experience with bmm with most variety in the past and in the present and uh I'm looking forward to to using a lot of these connections to get back into music. Get your freak on. 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 Get your freak on.